In this quick video, I'll show you four examples on how to solve ratio problems related to chemistry. We will begin this tutorial off with a basic math problem. The question reads, if 3 to 4 is proportionate to x to 20, solve for x. So we have a situation where we have 3 to 4 and x to 20. There are multiple methods to find out what x is. I'll show you two. The first method is, notice how this completed part of the ratio, you have 4 here and you have 20 here. What do you multiply 4 by to get to 20? If you thought 5, you are correct. So if you multiply this by 5, you should also multiply 3 by 5 to get your x. So 3 times 5 is 15, so therefore x is equal to 15. Another way to tackle this is to cross multiply. And what that means is you start off at the bottom left corner, this x, you multiply it by this 4, and you end up with 4x x times 4 is 4x. And similarly, you go to this next number, 20, and you multiply it across to this 3. 20 times 3 is equal to 60. And now you have a basic algebraic problem where you have to solve for x, this unknown. To find this unknown, you would have to divide both sides by 4 at this point. So you have x is equal to 60 divided by 4, and that gives you 15. So you can use either of these methods to find out your x. Let's start with our first chemistry problem. Here we're asked, given that three moles of carbon dioxide are produced for every mole of propane burned, determine the number of moles of propane required to produce 18 moles of carbon dioxide. So our completed ratio is three to one. Three represents carbon dioxide moles and one represents propane. Now they're telling us that we have 18 moles of carbon dioxide and they want us to find out the equivalent of propane. So we're going to use one of the two methods I showed you above. Notice that this 3 when multiplied by 6 gets you 18. So 1 times 6 will give you x which is equal to 6. The next question asks 30 milliliters of 0.8 molar HCl are added to 2 liters of water. How many milliliters of 0.8 molar HCl must be added to five liters of water to maintain the same final concentration. So what remains the same is this. And we know that 30 milliliters is added to two liters of water. And they want to know how many milliliters of HCl need to be added to five liters of water. So this piece of information is useless to us since the final concentration is going to be the same. Now also keep in mind that I've been consistent with what I place in my ratio. So here I put the volume of HCl and here I put the volume of water and similarly volume of HCl and volume of water. We have a basic ratio problem and this time using that first method that I showed you above won't work so easily because there's no number that you can easily multiply two by to get to five unless you do a little bit of algebra. Now, since we have to solve this algebraically anyway, we will use the cross multiply method. So I'm going to multiply x times 2, and I end up with 2x. And finally, here we have 30 times 5, and 30 times 5 is equal to 150. So if we solve for x by dividing both sides by 2, where this cancels out, you end up with x is equal to 75 milliliters. So our final answer is 75 milliliters. In our last example, it reads, in a certain chemical reaction, for every three moles of carbon dioxide produced, CO2 represents carbon dioxide, four moles of water are produced. So three to four ratio. How many moles of water are produced if 15 moles of carbon dioxide are produced? Here we can use that first method because three times five will give us 15 and four times five will give us 20. So there you have it four simple chemistry related examples on how to solve ratios. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.